bike light for outdoor use. It has a Cree XML T6 U2 LED in it. Now a lot of people complain about these cheap bike lights. This light by Security Aim uh, ran me approximately uh, less than thirty dollars. But uh, the last light I owned is a Tanzerin light. Ignore the electrical tape there. It's to cover up this button. The light at night time really bothers me when the outside is uh, very dark. Uh, the Tanzerin light has lasted me well over a year. I've used it in temperatures below zero and the battery still works fine. And if you notice here, the uh, my bike there, the Ragley AL29, uh, the light gives off an extremely bright wide beam. Uh, I think I purchased this light for around $35. It has the original battery pack, which I keep in a Ziploc, and uh, I use it mostly as a headlamp because the light head is light in weight, and uh, it's just a perfect light. You got one, two, three, flashing mode, and SOS mode. And that door is uh, about oh, 18 feet away, so it works really good. The battery itself on high beam, this light will last you over three hours on high beam, uh, depending on the outside air temperature. Outside air temperature always affects uh, lithium-ion batteries. Back to the security ing light. Uh, it comes with a head strap, as most bike lights today do. Your battery charger. The lithium-ion battery pack is a little hefty. It's about twice the weight of this, so it's an 8-cell battery pack. It takes about a full 6 hours to charge when you deplete the battery. So don't forget to plug it in. Make sure you hear a little click when you do plug it into the battery pack. You get the little green light here. And let me just shut this off to show you. Extremely bright. It's more of a spot beam. Very good for a headlamp use. I also use it for my trail use. It's very bright at nighttime. The flash beam to awaken drivers who are too busy texting and eating. Uh, when you're not using the light or you're going to park it for a while somewhere, please make sure to take this light, unplug it, and take it with you. Because if you lock your bike up at a shopping mall, movie theater, a uh, fast food joint, um, somebody is going to take it. <laughs> and it's very easy just to rip this right off the handlebars because there's a lot of jerks out there in the world. And if you don't have the battery pack and they take that instead, uh, a lot of good the light head is going to do you. So, like I said, if you're going to lock your bike up in a public place and you have your light on, the uh, bike attached to it, please take the light head off. Especially if you've got an expensive light, <laughs> uh, just not worth it. But as you can see, it's got five LEDs. It's a good size light head. Gives off plenty of light. That's by Security Aim. And you can find that right on Amazon.com. And uh, like I said, for less than 30 bucks, you really cannot complain with what you're getting. This light, my Tanzerin light, lasted me over a year and a half. Still works perfectly. I'm hoping the same for this light. And I use my bike lights every single night of the year. So uh, not bad for 30 bucks. So uh, check it out. Again, that's security aimed bike lights and you can find that right on amazon.com